Hello everyone, um, Master Rare Batman here. Um, I used to line up my toys in a certain way. I remember when I was a kid, um, I would grab a giraffe, an uh, elephant, a toy elephant. No, no, let alone a literal giant giraffe. Like, I can't do that. I'm a child, I'm, I'm this big, yay big. No, 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 no. I would grab a toy elephant, giraffe. Tiger, lion, tiger, lion, line them up in a certain way. But I don't remember the specific details. But I remember I always lined it up the exact same way no matter what. And I remember growing older. Um, when I stopped playing with toys, I started reading a lot of books. Then I would open pages of the encyclopedia. And then I'd line them up again um, from here to here, all over the floor. At first, they'd get mad. But they, my mom would be so happy. She'd think I'm reading. I did read. But in reality, it was just like, in my view, I, I remember that I was just, how do you say? Um, I was lining them up like the toys. <laughs> um, I viewed them as some kind of procession in my head a pattern perfected pattern a goes to b b goes to c c goes to d the encyclopedia you get it then i would essentially open portions of the book and each time i would see what essentially is Another pattern. Apparently, there are animals in the book, I realize. So I opened the pages of the animals. I was a weird kid. <laughs> I was a very, very weird kid. Growing up, I also didn't like hearing loud ringing noises. Um, especially when they do a very loud clap like that. Or <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> I did it to myself. I don't like that. I really don't like that. But going to school, when people discovered that I didn't like loud sounds, they would clap near my ear, jokingly, whistle, and, you know, slap some pens around, some damned <laughs> coins. It was so fucking annoying. Um, yeah, I hope they die. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, 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 I don't. I'm joking, I'm joking. No. They didn't know. Um, growing up as well, I also realized I when I like things, when I like certain things, for example, comic books, superhero movies, um, ASMR, I get addic addicted to them. I obsessively want them. I watch them obsessively. I love study the lore obsessively, but when it comes to studies, I used to like studies, but growing up, growing even older, I used to get tired of it. So I'm really bad at studies. And I learned that um, I wasn't a smart kid. Um, I was just different. Are you guys understanding what I am now? <laughs> I'm not trying to be condescending. That's just how I talk. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to get here? <laughs> I don't think I can say it because I'm not properly diagnosed as one. But I'm technically diagnosed. My aunt was the one who said it. She's a psychiatrist. And she told me what was entirely, not wrong with me, what I am, what I have that makes me different from other people. They say I was a smart kid, but in reality, growing up, I didn't understand what I was doing. I just loved the patterns of all of it. In math, they would force me to go to this weird... T um, organization uh, kind of like a school organization school org called 
Kuman, I would go there, study math. I understood the pattern. I got good at math. Um, I didn't like it though. So I wasn't exactly perfect in math. I had high scores. I had high scores, of course. But I never got the perfect score I always wanted. I thought I was smart. I thought I understood the game. No, I didn't. It, it's just that I was... Mm, what do you call this? I was just seeing patterns everywhere. I had terrible writing. I some I had a hard time reading. Sometimes words would flip around. Didn't know why. Um, I think I think they were flipping around. Yeah, I think they are. <laughs> I'm reading something right now. They're kind of messy. <laughs> Um, I grew up different, basically. Um, I also was made fun of by my own family, by my own friends, because of it, because I was different. I also would walk around when I was alone. I would walk around, imagine things, daydream, think of my fan fiction, basically, me meeting my superhero characters and cartoon characters in my other world in my head and I'd I just talk to them you know I, I didn't have friends so I'd talk to them no I wasn't schizophrenic or anything I would like walk I knew I was daydreaming I would just walk around and pretend that I was in a joyride toward their place I think it's maladaptive day daydreaming disorder. I don't know what it is. I don't think I'm diagnosed with that either. Properly, properly diagnosed, if you know what I mean. But I do have a therapist that helps me out in every step of the way. I grew up different. Didn't understand why. Also got angry when people bullied me. Got angry at the trigger words that... um caused me to hurt other people was not proud of that uh, people were scared of me people were terrified of who I am and who I was and who I could be maybe that's why I never had a romantic partner or I never had any good friends before before now I do because I have better control I don't have a relationship however because I'm different I'm not attractive because of the way I think. And the way I'm different is... I don't know if that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing either. It's just a thing that makes me me. And I have had heartbreaks and trauma with romance. I... I'm in love with someone right now, but they have not liked me back, so that's okay. But um, the problem is, I have gained a certain um, obsession with the idea of being happy. That's the problem with me. Because I was bullied my whole life, I was rejected by my peers, rejected by my own family for being who I am, that I have become overly attached with my own friends, my own family, attached with ideas, daydreams, fan fiction, and I want to say I'm sorry. For whoever I hurt, for because I was me. I would like to say sorry for wishing you dead or wishing you. Wishing you. Wishing something bad to happen to you. I would like to say sorry to, for being who I am, but I can't do that because I am who I am. I'm not perfect. And I have to learn to accept that. So, you guys have to accept if you're like me. I want you guys to tell yourself 
to look in the mirror, I mean, and tell yourself that you love yourself. That you are someone worth, despite who you are, and what you are. I'm only talking about this as a 50, 50 sub special. It's not really big. Nothing big. But my whole life, I was bullied for being different, for being cringe, quote-unquote. I don't know. I know what that means, but it's really sad that just because I'm different according to the norms of society, that you call me cringe, that you call me weird, awkward, freak, strange, disgusting, ugly. Well, I say that I'm sorry to those people who I hurt, who I made them feel weird just because I exist. And I'm so sorry for hurting people, for being me. But in the end, I should never be sorry for that. I should accept that this is how God made me, this is how the universe made me, and this is who I am. And I'm glad that I am who I am. Um, I do hope this video was very useful for you. I am not exactly the best person to ask anything or to have advice from but have a wonderful day <laughs> happy 50 subs guys thank you so much for liking my fan fiction